All right, now let's take a look at some real world type of question. Okay, with example one. So example one, we're going to find the dy dx, uh, given that y is equal to this function. Now naturally, this function looks a bit scary. Okay, um, and obviously it has to be a curve. Um, so actually we don't think so much. We just differentiate the way that we were taught. Okay, remembering that the formula or the way to differentiate was something like this, isn't it? If y equals to ax to the power of n, what we need to do to find the dy dx, okay, just a very quick recap. Huh? We have a, all right, a n x to the power of n minus 1. So what exactly is happening here is that what we'll do is we'll bring out, bring down the n to multiply by the a, that's how we get the a n, and the n power minus 1. Okay, so this is what we're going to do here. But it looks a bit different as well, it's a bit more intimidating than this. Okay, and the example, the simple kind of example that we've seen earlier on in earlier videos. So how are we going to do something like this? Okay, first of all, uh, the first step is not to differentiate anything yet, but is to change our radical form, and that is our third form, into index form. And that means uh, changing the square of x into x to the power of half. Okay, and uh, this being... 2 over square x is actually the same as 2 um, with x to the power of negative half. Now with this, uh, with this same function rewritten as in index form, right, so as you can see the power, right, it will be a lot easier for us to follow this formula in order to find our differentiation. So let us um, try to get the answer from here. Okay, so it's not that difficult anymore because we're going to bring down the half and uh, we're going to have a half. Okay, and multiply by the two third. And of course, the original power, which is half, uh, we're going to minus one and that gives us a negative half. Okay, and we're going to plus, we're going to bring down the negative half here. Alright, negative half and we're going to multiply by a two. Okay, which is the original 2, and the original x, we're going to minus 1, and that gives us the negative 3 over 2. So, we have to simplify, we can leave the answer this way, so um, the 2 and 2 will cancel, that gives us 1 third, and um, this being 1 over square root x, okay, now this is actually 1 over the square root of x. Okay, so 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 um, it goes back to your indices. So, what happened here is that this term it will become 1 over 3 square root x, okay, and this being a negative term, uh, and it's a positive and a negative, it becomes negative, and again, this is simply uh, 1 over x to the power of 3 over 2. So this is how we differentiate this sort of questions, okay, changing all the uh, radical form into index form first, and then we differentiate as per what we have discussed earlier on using this so-called formula, all right?